Welcome, everybody. The government's ELD mandate is fast approaching us. December 16th of 2019 is the cutoff date for everyone to have ELDs. This video is for the Win unit for People's Net. It's not for the Android unit. People's Net is not endorsing me or sponsoring me in this video. If they were, I'd be making money. Instead, I'm doing it for free. So please, by all means, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Let's get started. The login screen is basically the same as it was on an onboard uh, recording device. You're going to enter your driver ID and your password that your company has given you to enter. To do that, just click on the driver ID and start entering your information. Once you get your information filled out up here at the top, this keyboard has a done button and an enter button. On our systems, we're going to use the done button. The enter button is non-functional. Takes you back to your login screen. Hit your sign in button. It'll take a few seconds to request all your logs. So be patient. When logging in the first time, it's going to give you a message up here. Logs have been received. They may have been received with conflicts or without conflicts, but it's going to say that. It's going to have your driver information, your last duty status, when you gain time back, how much timing, driving time you have for the day. I'm at the end of my day, so you see my driving time is only 3 hours and 40 minutes. You hit the next button. It takes you to the initial status. So you're either going to go straight into driving, which I would not recommend because you've got to do a pre-trip, or you're going to go on duty, not driving, off duty PC, sleeper berth, or on duty yard movement. So if you want to do a pre-trip, you're going to have to go on duty, not driving. You need to add your shipments. And I'll show you where the shipment screen is if you have to add shipments after you've already been logged in. But we're going to add a shipment and hit the done button. Once you finish that, you see it down here in the little box. We need to add that shipment to the bigger box. So hit the add button. It brings it up. Whatever shipment, if you have multiple shipments in here, whichever one is highlighted is the one you're going to be working on. You can also, whichever one is highlighted, if you're if you're putting in a shipment and you're gonna and you're finished with the shipment before that, highlight that shipment and hit the remove button and it's gone. To add another one, just simply click on the box and add. And then hit next. Whatever trailer that you're hooked to. If you were already hooked to it when you logged out, it'll ask you if you want to keep that trailer. If you're going to be hooked into another trailer, you're going to hit no, and you'll have to add that other trailer at a later time. Or if you're going to stay hooked to this trailer, you're going to hit yes. If you don't have a trailer on there at all, and it's your initial time of hooking up or your bobtail, they've been working on your truck at the shop, then you'll have to add a trailer. So once you finish that screen, it takes you straight to your DVIR screen, which is your pre-trip screen. And you'll fill that out just like you used to on the onboard recording device with this old style keyboard. Now when you finish that, it takes you to your home screen. If you spend the night in the truck, or you're going to spend the night in the truck, you do not have to log out of this device. You just need to do a post-trip or the next morning at pre-trip. To do that, you'll go to driver. And as a side note, these log in and log out buttons are no longer used on this screen. If you try to log out from this screen, it will take you to the new screen to log out on. But as far as inspections go, you go to driver and inspections. And this is just like it was before. You have new you have pre, enter, or post. You also have a DOT inspection tab. 
So if it's in the morning, you're going to do a pre-trip. In the evening, you're going to do a post-trip. Back on your home screen, you're going to use this button to access your logs. This is your driver overview screen. This is the new screen. Before you had off duty, sleep or berth, and you had all the different ones and on duty down here, you had loading and unloading. Those are no longer on here. The, the quick tabs are no longer a part of this. To change your status, right now we're on duty. If we wanted to do a yard movement, you're gonna click change status. You're still on duty doing a yard movement and you annotate whatever your reasoning for moving is. Yard movement allows you to move the vehicle without going into driving. If you go over five miles an hour in anything other than yard movement, it will automatically put you in driving. So whether you're off duty or on duty, you go over five miles an hour being logged in, you're automatically gonna be putting into driving. So yard movement keeps you on duty and allows you to drive around the yard. So we're just gonna put testing. Submit. Goes back to the overview screen. We're still on duty, but now we have a YM next to that, which means yard movement. Tells you what date and what time you went into that status. Now you can stop moving and you can say you're going to take a 30 minute break. You can immediately go into your rest break. Are you sure you want to start a rest break? Means off duty. Yes. Okay, so while you're on a rest break, it's going to give you the current status, again, that you're off duty, the date and the time that you went into that status. Now, on a 30-minute break, it's not going to give you a gain time for a 30-minute break. It's only going to give you a gain time for a 10-hour break. So you need to pay attention on a 30-minute break what time you went off and then give yourself the appropriate time before you come back on to get your 30-minute break in. So you got a 30 minute break in, you're done, stop break. Takes you back to this screen. If you're gonna stop your break, you're either gonna come on duty or immediately start driving, or you're gonna do an on duty fuel or loading or whatever the case is. On on duty, let's just say we're gonna load. We took a break, we're at the company, we're gonna load. Now we're on duty, we need to tell the EOD, why are we on duty? So you're gonna to go to logs to annotate this. This will bring up your logging screen, your graph. Click on events. The events up here that first pop up are the older events. So this is actually yesterday's here at the very top, 1121. So the current event that you wanna annotate is gonna be at the very bottom of the screen. 6.28 p.m. On duty. Click on it. It's all highlights in blue. Your annotate button comes up. Click on that. We're going to say testing. Done. So I went on duty to do some testing on the ELD device. When you're done with that, click your home button. takes you back to the driver overview screen. You want to change your status again. Whatever you're going to change into, sleeper berth, off duty sign out, that'll take you to your post trip inspection and sign you out of the machine. Now you can also do that and do your post trip inspection and then hit the back button and it'll keep you on duty and bring you back to your home page. Bring you back to this page. You're on an on-duty status. You want to change your shipping information or your trailer information. So you're going to click on the resources tab. That brings you to this screen. 
click on trailers if you want to change your trailer or add a trailer it adds it down here then you hit the add button it automatically brings it up in the box now this the one that's highlighted is your current trailer if you're done with that trailer and you're switching to a different trailer you can remove it whichever one is highlighted you can remove when you're finished just hit the done if you need to add a shipment which we did this at the very beginning when you first logged in and did your pre-trip you added a shipment if you're done with that shipment you can click remove you're ready to put in your next shipment and add when you're finished with that done your vehicle you won't have to change that because this is going to know what vehicle you are in so you can go back to your driver overview screen maybe there we go so you're at the end of the day you need to certify your logs you're going to go to logs every day you need to certify your logs if you don't do them at the end of the day then the next time you log in it's going to, to make you certify your logs so hit certify the password is the same password you use to log in once you type that in it comes up down here you hit agree your logs are now certified for that 24-hour period hit your home button you're ready to log out go home takes you directly to your DVIR screen if you're still on duty do your post trip fill out your paperwork here with the old style keyboard and this is going to have a save button down here the old style and the onboard used to have an ok button now it's a save button requesting logs get your little hourglass icon takes a few seconds now at this point your logs are up to date you can either go back and use your home screen You'll still be on duty, so if you do that and you want to go off duty, you need to make sure you go off duty. If you hit the next button, it's going to log you out, and that's what we're going to do. So the next button. Logs you out and takes you back to your login screen. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll either reply to you to the best of my abilities in the comment section or I will make another video to answer your question. Hopefully you all like this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day.